Sagutan natin itong problems. Given f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 3x minus 1, g of x is equal to x minus 1 over x plus 1, h of x is equal to square root of x plus 5, p of x is equal to x plus 1, r of x is equal to square root of 2x, and t of x is equal to x squared minus 1 over x plus 2. Perform the operation. So let's start with 1, f plus p of x. Okay, so f plus p of x, it's the same as f of x plus p of x. So, i-add lang natin yung f of x at p of x. So, we will have f of x, it's 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 plus p of x, it's equal to x plus 1. So, combine lang natin yung similar terms. We have 2x squared, copy lang. So, we can combine 3x plus x or 1x, that will be 4x the negative 1 plus 1 is 0, so cancel. So, the final answer is 2x squared plus 4x. Next, for number 2, we have p minus f of x. So, p minus f of x, it's the same as p of x minus f of x. So, substitute lang natin yung p of x, that's x plus 1, minus f of x. So, don't forget to enclose in parentheses. So, quantity 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. Then, distribute muna natin itong negative sa so magiging x plus 1 minus 2x squared minus 3x, then negative 1 times negative 1, positive 1. So, combine similar terms. So, unahin ko itong negative 2x squared. Walang makakombine. Copy lang. Then, we have x minus 3x or 1x minus 3x. That's negative 2x. Then, 1 plus 1, positive 2. So, this is the final answer. Next for number 2, we have g times t of x. So, g times t of x, it's the same as the product of g of x and t of x. So, multiply lang natin, g of x, it's equal to x minus 1 over x plus 1 times t of x, it's x squared minus 1 over x plus 2. So, pwede ko munang i-factor, okay, itong x squared minus 1 using difference of 2 squares. It's factorable as x plus 1 times x minus 1 over x plus 2. So, cancel natin yung common factors sa numerator denominator. Itong x plus 1 pwedeng ma-cancel. So, over 1 na lang ito. So, bali, ang multiply na lang natin is x minus 1 times x minus 1 over 1 times x plus 2. So, this is the final answer. Next for number 4, we have r over h of x. So, r over h of x, it's the same as r of x over h of x. So, divide lang natin yung r of x by h of x. So, r of x, it's equal to square root of 2x over h of x, it's equal to square root of x plus 5. So, pwede natin itong irrationalize. So, multiply natin both numerator and denominator by the denominator square root of x plus 5 para makalabas siya sa square root. So, multiply natin numerator times numerator. So, para ko silang square root. So, pwede nyo kopyahin yung square root symbol and then multiply nyo lang yung 2x times x plus 5 sa loob. So, 2x times x plus 5 over, okay, square root this time ng x plus 5 quantity squared. So, simplifying, we have 2x times x plus 5. So, distribute the 2x. So, that will be 2x squared plus 2x times 5, it's 10x. Over, square root nung x plus 5 quantity square, so cancel na itong uh, square root tsaka square, matitira is x plus 5 na lang. So, this is the final answer. Next for number 5, we have t over g of x. Okay, so division ulit, it's equal to t of x over g of x. So, we can have t of x substitute x square minus 1 over x plus 2. Then, all over g of x, which is x minus 1 over x plus 1. So, applying the rule for uh, division of fractions, so, copy nyo lang tong numerator, x squared minus 1 over x plus 2. Then, multiply sa reciprocal ng denominator. So, pagbabalik ta rin yung numerator denominator. So, magiging x plus 1 over x minus 1. Then, pwede nyo i-factor ulit tong x squared minus 1 as difference of 2 squares. So, x plus 1 times x minus 1 over x plus 2. Then, times x plus 1 over x minus 1. So, cancel natin common factor, numerator and denominator. So, itong x minus 1. So, 1 na lang to. Ang matitira is 
product nitong x plus 1 times x plus 1 or x plus 1 squared, right? Over x plus 1 times 2, x plus 2 na lang. So, this is the final answer. Okay, now it's your turn. So, tayo namang sagutan itong problems and just comment your answers.